In this video, we'll draw a domed roof on a round building. We'll first need to find a way to create a round building. So I'll demonstrate one fairly useful way. You cannot create a round building by just curving one curved wall back upon itself. It won't work. You need at least two curved walls. And of course, they have to be exactly right in order to create a round building with a constant diameter. So I'm going to draw four straight walls to start off with. And then I'll want to make sure that the dimension between these two small end walls is the dimension that I want for the round building. And then I'm going to delete these two walls. So I have only the two walls remaining and I'm going to use them to create my curved walls. Click the curved wall tool pick up the snap on the outside of this wall, drag around and snap to the outside of this one. Select this and you should have the Make Arc Tangent Edit tool available. If not, simply stretch the arc closer to the point of tangency. You'll see it appear. And then I'm going to use Outer Main Layer. The main thing here is that the radius should be measured to the same location for each curved wall segment. We'll draw another curved wall now. Pick up the snap on the outside. Snap on the outside. Make arc tangent. Pick the same reference. And I now have the two halves of my building. I just need to get rid of the walls in between and connect them. So I'll delete the two walls in between. And I want to turn on the arc centers so that we can see them. Then I'll select one of the curved walls and I'll use the point to point move tool. I'll click the tool, click the point I'm moving, picking up the snap, and click on the point I want to move to, the center of the other arc, picking up the snap. And I should now have a building that has the desired diameter and will allow me to place my domed curved roof. I'll begin by building a straight roof. So we'll find our roof tools, go to the build roof dialog, and build our roof planes at the desired pitch. And it's useful to choose a segment angle that's fairly small. I'll choose the smallest possible. Notice that if I type 2 and tab, Chief Architect will not let me draw a segment angle less than 6. But that's okay. Let's build the roof. And there's the roof, and we see all of the segments. You can select any roof segment. And the segment angle is this angle, the angle of the two legs of the segment that come into the center. They are six degrees apart in this case. And notice if you had used a larger segment angle, the segments would be fewer. So let's take a camera view. We'll take a perspective full overview. And there we see it. And if we get in close, we can see the segment angles. And we have this peaked roof. And now we need to slope these roof planes to create the domed effect. So we'll keep this view up. Go back to plan. And we can curve all these roof planes at the same time. So if I go to roof plane mode and I shift drag touching all the roof planes, I can select them all, open them as a group check curved roof planes. I'll set the angle at the ridge to 5 degrees and click OK. And it will probably take a minute for Chief Architect to calculate all of those segments and figure out their curved positions. And now it's done. And we've now reviewed the steps for creating a domed roof on a round building. 